friends welcome back if you're new welcome my name is nikki so today feeling a little under the weather i don't know what i'm feeling i don't feel sick but i have this annoying cough that won't go away i'm not tired i'm not achy i don't have a fever i just have a cough so i've just been kind of chillaxing i have on my onesie let me show you got this from target super comfortable and i have on uh mitts mismatched socks okay i'm living my best life here so I thought, why not film a mask with me video? I don't know what I'm gonna call this, but I just thought I could do my mask, we could just hang out, do a little chatting, just hang out like friends, just hanging out, talking about makeup and beauty and life. So, I've got no makeup on, I've got my mint tea, let's do this. I'm going to use a mask I have, I don't think I've ever used this. I'm a little, <coughs> oh God, sorry, I'm a little foggy, I think I've used it once, but I didn't like use it to give you a review. So I want to give you a good review. This is the Clarins SOS Hydra Mask. It's a refreshing hydration mask with leaf of life extract. And I love the packaging, this little blue bottle it comes in. Let me read about it and tell you all the good stuff it does. They make, I think, a total of four different masks in this line. There's four or three. So this is the Refreshing Hydration Mask with Leaf of Life Extract. It's a cooling cream gel texture, perfect for dehydrated skin, which I need because my skin has been so dry. It's organic Leaf of Life Extract helps power the skin's natural hydration process to encourage all day hydration. It has hyaluronic acid complex that helps retain water for an immediate plumping effect. It says intensely moisturized Intensely moisturized skin is fresh, supple, smooth, and toned. So I am excited to use this. And this retails for $34. I'll leave a link to it down below. <clears throat> the one thing I was confused about, I'm sorry, I'm going to be coughing. I'll try to have my tea. I literally have my medicine bag here. Um, I've got cough drops. I've got mucinex. What else do I have? I have, I don't know how to say this properly, sepical. Sipa call. They're basically like super strong medicated cough drops. I have never used this until like two days ago. These things are amazing. It's a little weird. How am I getting on like a medicine bag haul? I'll leave a link to everything down below. These things, they taste really gross. At first I was like, this is disgusting. I've gotten used to it over the last two days. It literally numbs your throat. It's very odd. It numbs your throat, but it's a very subtle num numbness so that the cough just goes away because your throat is super relaxed and it's very soothing. I love these. Now, it's it's not gonna attack the problem. Like I, I need to find out why I have this cough, but if you have a cough, it is so soothing for like a sore throat, a cough. It basically numbs a bit and has like a menthol kind of vibe. I love these things now. I think they were like five bucks. What else do I have in my medicine bag? And then just to make myself feel better, if I want some gum, I have some gum. So I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't gonna go to the doctor because I was like, I'm not sick, I don't have a fever, I just have a cough. But my mom sent me this horrifying email about like how there's a flu epidemic going around and people are dying because uh, the flu, they're getting sepsis, which is basically your blood's infected from what I understand. And they're dying like normally healthy people like this woman who is a mother of two who worked out six days a week. Hello, that's me. She felt fine. She even had the flu shot. Hello, that's me. I had my flu shot in November and she ended up dying because she ended up having um, sepsis in her blood. So you can only have sepsis in your blood, I think. Anyways, I'm going to go to the doctor tomorrow because she officially scared me. Tangent. Don't know how I got off on that. Let's try the mask. So this is what it looks like when it comes out. It's a very, yeah, you guys can see that. It's a very light blue color. It just feels like a really nice lotion. And what's odd is that it's very cool. It feels like I've had it in the fridge, but I haven't. It's just been sitting on my table. Wait, so let me read about it. There was something that I was confused about. Uh, because it says to leave it on. Where did I see the instructions? Clarence cracks me up. Their instructions are everywhere in like every language. There's French. I think this is Italian. There's Italian, French, and German. Okay, so how do you use this? It says, ideal for moisture thirsty skin. Yes. 
You leave it on for just 10 minutes, yes. Okay, so this is what I was confused about. It says leave it on for 10 minutes, then remove with a cotton pad soaked in lotion. What? What do you mean lotion? What kind of lotion? Is there like a Clarins lotion that I don't know about? I don't know what that means. What kind of lotion am I supposed to use to take it off? Why don't we put it on and then I'll go look at Clarins website and see what they say because I don't know what that means. It, it didn't say like use the Clarins lotion. It just said use a cotton pad lotion. This is cool. I've never used a mask that feels like this. It feels like I'm just putting on like a moisturizer. It's very thin and it feels very cooling. I like it so far. It's kind of odd. I've, I've never used a mask like this. Usually I use masks that are really thick or like a sheet mask, but this does feel like it's going to be moisturizing. All right, I've got the mask on. It's very interesting. I've never put on a mask like this. I'm sure this is a common thing, but usually the masks that I use, like I said, are very thick. This is just like putting on a very nice cream on your face. It doesn't feel like a mask at all. It feels like a nice moisturizer. So I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes and the scent is very, very light. It's not super fragrant, which I like, and I know a lot of people appreciate that. It's like a very light, fresh scent. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes, and while I do that, I just thought we could hang out and chat and talk about new makeup and life and all that good stuff. I just realized how ridiculous I'm gonna look talking to you with this uh, mask on, but I don't care. You guys have seen me look crazier before, so let's just jump into it. I'm not even gonna act like, I've been online looking way crazier than this, so. Right now, it just feels like I just have a moisturizer on. It feels nice. It feels very light. I got a goodie package from CoverGirl. I've never received anything from CoverGirl, so I was super excited. Um, and I told you guys last year that I want to try more drugstore makeup. If you haven't seen my best of the best video where I feature my best products for the whole year, this mic is driving me crazy. You guys can't see it, but it's right up here. Um, Basically, that whole video was high-end products, and I was like, this is ridiculous. I want to try everything. I want to use high-end drugstore and everything in between. So when CoverGirl said they were sending me their new um, Vitalist line, I was like, yay, I want to try it because I've been seeing people talk about it. So this is everything that came in the collection. We have um, some highlighters, a setting spray, concealer, and a lip oil. I didn't even know CoverGirl makes lip oils. So here's everything that's in the box. We have the concealer. We have the Vitalis Luminizing Lotion. It says it has vitamins E, B, B3, B5. Cool. CoverGirl setting spray. See, I didn't even know CoverGirl made setting sprays. How sad is that? I'm getting back on my drugstore game, friends. I thought that this was an eyeshadow, but it's actually a highlighter. This is the Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter. What's the shade called? It says number three. It's like a golden highlighter. Not like, it is. Um, another concealer. This is the Vitalist Elixir Lip Oil. Let's try this now. I'm excited to see what this lip oil is like. Oh, for some reason I thought it would have like a, um, like a pump up tube or something. Oh, it's like a pinky color. Let's see what the other lip oil looks like. I'll leave a link to all this down below. So this is the lip oil. I don't, do they have names? This one is Melon, melon Granita. Oh, I love granitas, those icy drinks. So this is the light pink color. That has a strong smell. I don't know what to call that smell. It's like a chemical melon smell. Oh, this feels nice. It feels thin, but very moisturizing. I like it. That's why I keep putting more on. I can't believe how thin it feels, but it feels super moisturizing. I really like that. How does it look? No color at all, just a clear gloss. I really like that. I don't like the smell, but it feels nice and it goes on nice. Cool, I like that. What else do we have in here? We have another uh, luminizing lotion. Is there a name on this? Oh, this one is called Daybreak. Let's do a swatch. This one is probably too light for me. I should probably use the other one, but let's see. So what is this? Maybe this is something you put on before your foundation 
to give your skin a glow. I'm thinking that's what it's for. Let's see. It's a moisturizer. So it's a lightweight moisturizer. It says light reflecting pigments give you naturally luminous skin. This used to be something I would shy away from when my skin was super oily. <coughs> oh my God, my voice is cracking. But now that my skin is dry as a desert, that'll be something I use. So let me know down below if you guys want to see a full review video on this stuff. Um, let's see, what do they say about this line? Oops. Uh the vitalist line i think it's like their new healthy line uh does it give me like a rundown no it's a vitalist healthy glow collection has transformational products for your glow power needs so if you want to see a full review video on this let me know down below i don't even want to throw this box away because i just think how special it is to receive my first CoverGirl PR package. I don't know if I'm gonna throw that away. So I'll leave a link to everything down below. Next up, we have this blush from number seven. I'm so glad I'm talking about drugstore products again. I wanna talk about drugstore high-end and all that good stuff. So this is the blush. Um, this is the powder blusher called Berry Crush. I showed this to you guys in a recent video. It was like a makeup tutorial or something. No, I don't really do makeup tutorials. I remember showing this to you. What video did I show this to you? Let me look at my phone. Oh, the video, Can You Really Trust Popular YouTubers? If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it down below. So this is what the color looks like. Is this my middle finger? No. Oh God, I can't stick it up. This is, why did I swatch on that finger? This is what the color looks like. Look at how pretty that is. Now, when you actually swatch it on your skin, it's not super pigmented, but sometimes I like that because I get very heavy handed with blush. I'm not the best at applying blush, I will admit it. So I actually need something that's a little lighter just to give me a flush of color and you can really build it up. You can see that. And how much is this? Um, this is $12.99. Oh, wow. It's a little more pricey than I thought. Do you guys see number seven in your drugstore? Because I feel like I don't see it when I go to CVS. I think I've seen it at Rite Aid and Walgreens, but I feel like I don't see it when I go to CVS. So I've really been enjoying this. I've been using it every day. I've been liking it. The um, mask is starting to really dry down. It still feels super comfortable super thin almost feels like i don't have anything on my skin it just feels like i have a moisturizer that's drying down i see why they say you only need to leave it on for 10 minutes it probably dries out too much so i've been talking a lot i should probably go take it off and come back or i should take it off on screen but i don't know it says take it off with the lotion i don't have any lotion so i think i'm just gonna use like a damp washcloth all right, so it says to use a cotton pad, but I don't have any cotton pads. I'm out. So I just dampened a paper towel with some moisturizer and some micellar water, and we're just going to wipe it off because it has been 10 minutes. It's coming off very easily, which is nice. No pain. It's just a very relaxing experience. Okay, all done. My skin feels so soft, guys. Oh, I wish I would have left it on longer. I think 10 minutes is not enough. I love, if a, if a mask says leave on for 30 minutes, I leave it on for an hour. I want like the maximum benefit possible, but it just felt like it was drying down. Oh, my skin feels so soft and it does not feel dry, which is pretty amazing because I only had it on for 10 minutes. I really like this. I'm going to keep using this over the ne next couple of weeks and I'll update you. But so far, first impression, my skin feels refreshed and very soft. That's the best way to describe it. It feels moisturized and soft, and I love it. I really like that. Next time I'm gonna leave it on for longer. Okay, let's keep going with the product reviews. This is another product from Sol de Janeiro. You know I love their stuff. I love their Bum Bum Cream, the Acai Body Powder, um, the Foot Cream. This is their Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Gel. It says powered with natural Brazilian extracts. If you have never smelled, oh my God, if you've never smelled any of their stuff, please go smell it at Sephora. Um, you can buy this at Sephora or on Sol de Janeiro's website. It says, gently nourishes and cleans, infused with Sol de Janeiro's Brazilian beauty blend of, I don't know how to say this, Cupa Cua butter, antioxidant, superpower, acai, and skin moisturizing, moisturizing coconut oil, 
Uh, huh, this is funny. Leave skin super soft, irresistibly smooth, and always ready for foreplay. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Ooh, this smells so good. So how many ounces do you get? You get 13 ounces. This is pretty big. I'll leave a link to it down below. Oh my God, I love the scent. And I love their stuff. It's just so moisturizing. And the scent is amazing. It's it's a scent I've like I've never smelled before. It's like almond butter, coconut milk, acai, and then it must be that the word I can't pronounce, the kupu kupuasu. <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. I think that's the smell I can't Oh yeah, it has caramel fragrance. It has pistachio and caramel fragrance. It's like all of those mixed into one, which is really hard to describe. You just have to smell it. This stuff is amazing. I love all of their products, so I'm super excited to keep using this. I've already used it once, and I love it. Next up, from Lancome, we have this bad boy. This is their Lift Multi-Action multi Ultra Sunscreen and Moisturizer. It's good for firming and dark spots and correcting. I really like this. And I like grimace when I say that because it's so expensive. It's $99. So here's the thing. Do you have to have it? No. But if you can afford it, if you want to treat yourself, if you really want like a nice, good quality moisturizer with sunscreen, I recommend it. I really like it. A little bit goes a long way. I've noticed that a lot of my dark spots that I have, like my acne scarring, have faded since I've been using this. And you really need very little of it, and it has SPF 30, so I really like it, and I love the packaging. I don't know why. My camera always shows it as blue to you guys, but it's actually purple, and I'm a sucker for anything purple. It's ridiculous. If it's purple, I will probably buy it because it's my favorite color. But the product inside, forget about the packaging. The product inside is pretty awesome. It's just pretty pricey. So if you're looking for a good quality moisturizer and you don't have a sensitivity to SPF, I would recommend this. I really like it. I'll leave a link to it down below. All right, friends, that is it for me. I was thinking about filming another video, like doing my makeup, but I'm just not. I don't want to say I'm sick because I don't feel sick, but I just feel like coffee and my throat kind of hurts. So not like coffee the drink. Like I feel like I'm coughing a lot. So I'm going to go. You probably won't see a video from me for a couple days. The day you're watching this is the day I filmed it. So if you're watching this the day before Valentine's Day, hello, I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments down below if you're doing anything, if you're single, if you're taken, if you're in between. Let me know. We already celebrated Valentine's Day. We went to one of my favorite restaurants. It's uh, Nobu in Malibu, and it's on the beach. I love their food. I don't really like... Um, not the ambiance. The ambiance is beautiful because you're on the water. The, I don't know, the staff just seem like they're not really into it. And I feel like they don't clean the restaurant as good as they should. Like, their stuff is expensive. Like, a cocktail is like $17, $20, and there's like dirty stuff on the floor. I don't know. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. There's like Ferraris and Bentleys outside, and then you look under your table, and there's like stuff on the floor. Uh, my boyfriend said, like, the men's bathroom was trash. The female bathroom was really nice. I don't know. I just feel like they need to maybe train the staff. Train them or replace them. I don't know. Tangent. I'm going on tangents in this video. I'm just a chatty Kathy. So that's it for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you're doing for Valentine's Day. Some of my favorite Valentine's Days were when I was single. <laughs> Isn't that sad? I had the most fun. We would always go out always me and my girlfriends and we would just have so much fun by the way if you're single valentine's day is a great day to go out and meet people um because all the single people go out you have cocktails have dinner you're gonna meet somebody and it's just fun and even if you don't you can just hang out with your friends or some of my favorite valentine's days were actually just staying at home and watching like corny romantic movies i love it okay I'm going to go rest my throat. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Check out some of the videos on the screen, and I will see you soon. Bye.